Hello and welcome to Vibrant Living, where we bring the medical experts into your living room to help unlock the secret to living a more happy, healthy, and vibrant life. My guest today is Dr. Jared Hulse from Austin Artistic Dental, where he is using cutting edge techniques and technology to literally give people their smile and their life back. We sent our camera crew down to South Austin, Texas to sit down with Dr. Hulse and his team. Take a look. I'm Dr. Jarrett Hulse. I'm the dentist here at Austin Artistic Dental here in Austin, Texas. So I was actually uh, born and raised in New York City. Uh, lived there for 30 years. Uh, I was very artistic when I was a child. I would, I would paint, I would draw, I would uh, actually paint those little miniatures and make models and all that type of thing. I'm married to my wife, Stephanie. She's from New Jersey. I was a New York City kid. Two, three, <laughs> all the way to the chest. Come on, four, five. I've been into exercise for half my life. I've been into dentistry very passionately for the past 15 years. Beautiful blend of artistry and science, uh, and getting to work with people. And uh, so that's what I chose, and I'm glad I did, and it brought me across the country, and here I am right today. Our goal at Austin Artistic Dental is to treat everyone just the way I want to be treated. Um, I hear it all the time that people are going to different dental offices and they're being told they need this or told they need that. Um, they, either they don't understand why they need it or they don't really want it or need it. So, you know, what, what we try to do here is just try to be as honest as possible, give you as much information as possible and kind of let our patients choose what they want to do. Dr. Hulse, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Colin. So, start in New York, come down to Austin. It's got to be a big change. What do you like about practicing here in Austin? Uh, the people. Uh, in Austin, we have uh, just a wide, especially where I am in Austin, I'm in South Austin. So, we have people that come from the city. I have people that come from the country. I have farmers. I have uh, people in the suburbs. People do travel to see us. Uh, sometimes it's surprisingly, surprisingly far distance. I mean, yes, we have people in South Austin. We have people from Kyle and Bastrop, some of the outlying uh, towns. But we also have people that come for us from other cities. We have San Antonio, um, which is an hour or so away. We have even people come from Houston and Dallas, which is a couple, uh, two, three hours away and then uh, believe it or not we even have patients that have uh, you know called us and uh, contacted us from other states as far as ways to Washington DC um, is that so, right wow. yeah it's a uh, surprise we do a few things that are a little hard to find it's most dental offices don't do so sometimes people uh, find us they search us out and find us so we're, we're always honored when they do that uh, I, I read on your website, you really, really like going out and, and getting educated on the current trends and techniques and have something to kind of show for that. Tell me a bit about that. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. Uh, you know, when you get out of dental school, uh, you think, most people would think, well, okay, you're you're done, you're a dentist, you do the dental stuff. Um, but with dentistry, it's such a changing uh, field, there's all this new technology and techniques coming out all the time that I've spent uh, quite a lot of time uh, gathering just knowledge. Uh, so one thing they have up here, you know, this mastership award that uh, I've been given, uh, I'm really kind of proud of that, uh, just because it shows how much uh, education and time I've put into it. What do you have to do to actually get this mastership? Um, it's, a, it's a combination of doing a lot of education and traveling the country, learning from the best dentists uh, to just bring all technology back to Austin. There's also some hands-on component. There's some, uh, you have to actually lecture to some dentists to, oh, to, to, to uh, be able to get the different requirements. And there's also an exam you have to pass. Uh, so it's quite rigorous. So, you know, it is something I'm, I'm quite proud of. Well, about 1%, less than 1% of dentists ever get in their whole career. Is that so right? to wow. get it, you know, a little more than a decade into my career is, uh, again, it's, thank you, it's, I appreciate it. I do, it's uh, something I'm proud of. So it's, it's about learning these things so you can bring it back to and actually use them. You know, it's done, it doesn't make sense to just go out and, and learn these things if you're not going to bring it back and share it with my patients, my, mm. my the people of Austin. Uh, you know, so I go around to different parts of the country and kind of find the best dentists doing the best things. And I uh, try to bring those back to Austin. You know, in New York City, uh, you always think of a big city like that, and you, you think that they have the, you know, the best surgeons, the best, and we were, you know, there was a lot of that there. Um, but in smaller cities and smaller towns, sometimes you got to go out and, and bring that back. So that's what I do. I travel the country and learn from the best and, and then uh, bring it back to my patients. So for people who aren't familiar with your practice, mm -hmm. Austin Artistic Dental, and there, and you said in South Austin, what type of procedures do you offer? Uh, that's a good question. So we 
offer a wide uh, range of options on services. But what we really kind of uh, specialize in, if you want to say, is just kind of rebuilding mouths. Okay, yes, we do the fillings and cleanings, but um, what we do most days is we're having people come to us who have big problems, or they think they're big problems. What do you, what do you mean by big problems? Um, big problems that are actually affecting their lives. So problems that are pain, uh, missing teeth, uh, gum infection, problems that make people so they can't eat, they can't smile. Uh, again, they're in pain a lot. So, you know, they're just affecting ways they can eat, the ways they can see their family members, the way they can see their friends, where they can go and what they can uh, eat. So it's, uh, when we make these bigger changes, it's, uh, it's, it's fun, it's rewarding, because we get to see uh, the people really appreciate mm -hmm. it. And then it makes us happy seeing them go through that change. We're, we're gonna definitely talk a, a little mm -hmm. bit about that. You brought uh, some before and after photos of mm -hmm. some actual patients yeah. you worked on. We're gonna, we're gonna show our viewers just the type cool. of transformation yeah, yeah, sure. that is possible. Uh, now, you were mentioning earlier about these more intense cases. People come to you, mm -hmm. sure, you can do all the, the simple fillings and the crowns and do beautiful dentistry there, but people come to you that have really big problems. Yeah. Now, I want to talk a little bit about that. What are the concerns that people have that come to you that have these kind of problems? What, what's the typical situation? Sure. So, I mean, it's a wide range, but what a very common scenario that we get a lot is people that come in, uh, they're either uh, in pain, okay, or embarrassed, or both. Uh, so, and the reasons they would be in, in these situations is because either they're missing teeth, uh, they have broken teeth, mm -hmm. They have loose teeth. So people's teeth could get actually loose if they have gum disease for a long time. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So those are the major problems. And these are the problems that affect, as I was saying before, uh, people's lives. So when we have these people come in, uh, sometimes they come in because a friend referred them, they saw us in the neighborhood, or for whatever reason, they see us on our website. Um, they come in and sometimes they're skeptical and they always think they're the worst we've ever seen. Is that they right? They always think they're the worst. And they, they're high in their mouth and usually I tell them, because it's usually true, I have seen two people worse than you already today. So that... It's true, and they usually uh, they appreciate that. They don't realize that so many other people. But, I mean, walking around with no teeth or partially missing teeth is super common, and people just don't realize it. Uh, you know, in America, now this is this is some shocking statistics that you know I didn't even know these statistics. I looked them up. Uh, I mean, I knew it was they were big, but you know, like one in seven people in this country has no teeth. Not not a single not tooth. a single tooth. One out of seven. Yeah, so that's about I think it's about. 16%, something like that. Um, uh, actually, I think it's 11%. Yeah, it's somewhere around there. But it's, but uh, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot point. more than I would expect. It's about 35 million people in the United States alone. Right? With no teeth whatsoever. Correct. So when, when you're sitting around and you have no teeth, so uh, no teeth, what are my options? Obviously a denture, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you brought a couple models here. Uh, yeah, that's that's an option that's been around uh, for you know hundreds of years. A hundred hundreds of years. Hundreds. We're talking like well, how far back does this go? Literally. I mean, you've seen uh, you know if you look at the you see pay, dental dental work back in the Egyptian time stuff. But if you talk about dentures, I mean the classic one is is George Washington. You always hear about. I've actually seen that denture. They have oh. it in the dental museum. Isn't it made of wood or something uh, like that? Partially, uh, and some of some ivory teeth in there and, and such. But uh, yeah, it's essentially this though. Yes, this has been a plastic and acrylic, but the problem with this, uh, and there's many, is that uh, there's nothing holding it in, okay? I mean, you have no teeth, and it just kind of floats there on the bottom. It's uh, gravity, basically, that holds it in. So imagine trying to chew laugh uh, with this in your mouth. Uh, you know, it's it's a last resort. Doesn't the adhesive they put in, the goop, doesn't that help? Uh, they hate their goop. Everyone hates their goop, okay? okay? They always put too much because, and the reason they put too much is they're afraid. They're afraid it's gonna fall out. They're afraid, I mean, that is the worst fear. That's, uh, you're talking to your someone, you're laughing, and it just, and it just falls out. And yes, you know, it makes funny for a YouTube video for other people, but for that person, it's, it's traumatic. And, uh, so that's what we try to, we're trying, there's new technology now and we're trying to change that. In the past 10 or 15 years, a lot of things have changed where we can, we don't really need to have these uh, hockey pucks, you know, uh, anymore. We have, uh, we have dental implants and with dental implants, we can give people their smile back in a secure fashion in which they can now chew and smile and all those fears about falling out, uh, about, you know, uh, pain, about not being able to chew, not being able to laugh, not being able to be around their grandkids and their wives and their spouses, um, we can fix that now. And that's amazing because, you know, uh, even when I, 
even you know, 15, 20 years ago, it was around a little bit. But now with technology, it's become so much easier, uh, so much quicker, and so much more predictable mm -hmm. uh, and cheaper too, actually, that uh, it's, cha it's changed dentistry. We're going to get into a lot of those details here in a minute. Mm -hmm. If you're just joining us, I'm here with Dr. Jarrett Holtz from Austin Artistic Dental down in South Austin. We're talking about now replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And for people who uh, are, are missing one tooth, an implant sounds like a great option. For people who are in a denture, they have no teeth, or people who are headed that way, when they sit down and talk to you, what are their major concerns they have? What, what might be holding back? If it sounds like such a great option, what is holding them back from doing it? Sure. So, you know, one thing that uh, people are concerned about when they know they're missing teeth uh, is they don't know the options. So you, I mean, you mentioned some options and we talked about some implants and uh, rebuilding people's smiles, but uh, they, don't, they don't know these options. Why don't they know the options? Well, you know, they, some people haven't, believe it or not, haven't been to the dentist in decades. Uh, and that's for various reasons. Sometimes it's because they've had a bad experience when they were younger and they remember pain. Uh, and that's partially just because things weren't as good back then, uh, technology wasn't as good back then, so they remember this and they hold on to this. And dental fear is a really very, very real option, uh, not option, a very real uh, thing that we see in patients literally literally every day, and people are embarrassed by that. So it's a matter of fear and embarrassment, uh, not knowing what we can do and how things have changed in dentistry, um, money and a fear of the cost of what things, things will cost. You know, sometimes people have heard, they've heard of dental implants, they don't really know what it is, but they've heard that you can replace a, a, a tooth with that. And they've talked to their friend and they maybe, have, you know, looked a little bit online and they see, oh, an implant, a single tooth can, you know, on average probably is, uh, you know, around $5,000 in some areas of the exactly. country. Um, but, you know, with the way technology has come in the past few years and the way we can actually make implant surgery and implant dentistry uh, easier has also mm -hmm. made it cheaper for the dentist in which we can pass on to the patient. So the, the $5,000 a tooth, someone sitting at home, that, that's, that's maybe how it used to be four or five, six years ago. You're saying with technology and techniques and materials that that's come down quite significantly. Yes, and then also if people have missing uh, multiple teeth, okay, or all their teeth, uh, they start thinking about, well, I need an implant, okay, I'm missing one two, three, four, and they start adding up the cost. And like, well, there's no way. I mean, I can't, and it's not even worth asking about. Uh, but it doesn't work like that. We don't need to have a, a single tooth for every, excuse me, a single implant for every tooth in their mouth. Uh, there's ways where we can kind of replace all your teeth with just uh, four or five or six implants, really. So it's... Uh, it doesn't work that way, and there's definitely uh, ways people can afford to do it every day in my practice. You know, we have different payment plans and different ways that people definitely yeah. can afford it. Um, you know, like I said earlier about Austin, you know, we have a wide range of patients, so it's not just the businessman who works downtown in finance that can afford mm -hmm. this. I mean, in fact, I don't even, it's more the people that you wouldn't even know they couldn't afford it. It's because it's it's not as expensive as some people think. Yeah, so some people, you know, just like a, it could be a car payment a month, they can be affording getting all their teeth fixed sometimes. And that, of course, leads to, like you're saying, the confidence back mm -hmm. and being able to eat foods that they want to. Now, I know as people are aging, and no one likes to age, but, you know, we all age, right? And as the teeth get broken down, and as you're mentioning, you know, some people are headed towards a denture, and you're talking about implants and securing that, be able to eat. Now, our doctor says you got to eat healthy foods, but for an loose denture, you're saying we can only eat what 10% of chewing capacity. I think you were saying. So with no denture, excuse me, no implants, just one of those floating dentures in there, you get about 10% as much force as you can with real teeth in there. Okay, when you have implants and everything secure, you're about up to 80, 90%. So you're really almost, it's, it's as close as you can get back to, and that's with no teeth. If you have some real teeth and we're putting implants, you're back to Even higher, higher, higher than that. Yeah, so, right? so, you know, it's definitely something that relates to your health as well. Yes, we talked about how you'll f smile better and all that as well, and the confidence, but correct, health is a huge part of it. Okay, when you have no teeth or you're, you're having these hockey pucks that you're chewing with, uh, you can't chew. I mean, it really, it's, I mean, you're, you're cutting up pieces into little tiny pieces, uh, and really you're just mostly swallowing it. A lot of people that have, uh, you know, gastrointestinal issues mm -hmm. because they can't really digest this food because they're not, they're, they're mixing, mixing, Is that right? missing the first part of, uh, the whole process of mastication. Uh, we're just chewing the food. So this can't get the nutrients. You can't eat the foods you want to eat. You're limited to the which foods you eat. Uh, so just from diet alone, okay, just getting your teeth in there will help, uh, help you be healthier.
when I come in, there's a smile, there's greetings. I mean, it's just like going family, really. It's family oriented. And I can't say enough about Dr. Holtz. He's my hero. Oh, I like him because he cares about people and uh, he cares about a lot about older people. He loves older people, I think, because I get those vibes from him. I trust him and just, just, he's just great. And I trust him in every decision that he says, you can do this, I say, okay, I'll do it. Sitting down with my guest, Dr. Jared Hulse from Austin Artistic Dental. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about replacing missing teeth with dental implants and how, what a great option that is today. Now, you brought some actual patient photos with some amazing stories. And, you know, we had to narrow it down to just uh, two or three. So I want to walk through these sure, with you. Look. So right here, tell us about this patient coming in here, leaving, amazing transformation. But what did you actually do here? So this was uh, kind of a smile transformation, we called it. It was a little bit of everything, okay? We had a few missing teeth in the back. We had a lot of broken teeth. In fact, he was going through various problems for so long that you can't even see most of the broken teeth in this photo. It seems like his upper so, lip is kind of hiding exactly. everything that so might be wrong. So he spent literally decades uh, hiding his smile. So he's actually kind of trained his lower lip to hide those, those teeth there. Uh, the, one of my favorite things about this fellow, uh, Britt was his name, uh, that he was going through his dental work and we were fixing his smile and getting him healthier. And uh, he mentioned that I asked him, you know, how, how is your family like your new smile that we're working on? And he's like, oh, they don't, e don't even know that it's happening. And I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, I, I haven't even told my fiance. I'm like, oh, your fiance? I didn't even, I mean, I've been working for a while. I didn't, I didn't even know you're getting married. He's like, yeah, I'm getting married like in a month. And I'm like, you're getting married a month and your fiance doesn't even know? He's like, yeah, that's why I'm doing all this uh -huh. because I've been getting married to this woman and I want to get married to her, and I've been embarrassed by my teeth for, for the whole, our whole relationship. And you, you said he'd been feeling that way for decades. Mm -hmm. So what did we do here for this, uh, for this patient? So he was a combination. He had some missing teeth in the back. We replaced him with dental implants. He had some patched up uh, old bonding and broken fillings on his front teeth that were stained. Uh, so it was a combination of porcelain veneers uh, and implants um, that got him back to where we can see now, not only the teeth beautiful, but we can see the teeth. I noticed, I noticed in this one now, so, what happened to his upper lip? Did, did you do something to bring the teeth down? or Because now we can see the entire upper arch there. That's just him. So when you have nice teeth and you're proud of your smile, uh, you just show them more. It's not like I made the teeth that much longer. They were sticking down here. That's not what happened. What happened was that his lip went up. And uh, I didn't. that wasn't me coaxing him. This is, I said, just give me a smile. And now he's smiling. So that's great. One thing I love about this, too, is just that it looks very natural. It looks very uh, real. Like uh, maybe those were his original teeth that they probably looked like before the, uh, the disease and the decay. I, I appreciate you noticed that because that's, that's one of the things I love best. That's one of my... Uh, one of my pet peeves about some other dental work I've seen as well. So yes, a lot of dentists do veneers and uh, cosmetic work sometimes, but uh, it, it's unfortunately not done as well as I would like sometimes. What do you What do you mean by that? Well, that like it's, I, it's it's done poorly, or what do you mean? Well, that happens too. But what I was more referring to is that it looks fake. Okay, it's sometimes you'll see these uh, you know, teeth from across the room and people, you know, and that's when the first because it's so prevalent. Some of this non-realistic. Uh, dentistry that when people come to me and they want a smile makeover, that's one of their first concerns. They always say, I don't want them to be too fake. I don't want them to look white. And I don't like, want that Hollywood well, I don't. white. I, said, oh, I really? said, don't. That's, I said, that's not what I do. So I'm glad you said that. So, so people are coming yeah. to you wanting to look, they want a new smile, but they want it to look natural. They exactly. Want to look exactly. And, and so there's a little bit of artistry in what you do. Uh, yeah, no, definitely a lot of artistry, um, you know, and some of that uh, definitely can be taught, but I've always been kind of artistic since I was a child, and so this is kind of the avenue that I've projected down and I worked on as, as my adult. A very good combination of science and art. Exactly. So that was Brit. Now I want to go to this patient here. So that, this guy obviously Jim, has, some, yeah, uh, yeah. has some cosmetic issues. Tell me, what did he come into you for? What was his concern? So this is Jim. I like Jim because uh, because everyone likes Jim. Jim's a, Jim's a fun guy. He he laughs. He tells jokes, but at the same time, uh, you know, with all that smiling and laughing, you can even see. I mean, he has a great 
frame for his teeth. He has that you know wide smile that a lot of people want, especially if you're the type of uh, you know humorous guy Jim is. But uh, you can see what's in the frame, okay? And he can see what's in the frame. Uh, so he was not happy about this. So you know he he wanted to have his teeth express the rest how the rest of him acted. And you know as he got older and that this kind of broke down over time, he would go in and get things patched up, then would break down again. So Jim actually, those aren't actually Jim's real teeth anymore. So Jim is actually uh, one of the candidates we talked about where to have the implants that are supporting all of the teeth. Is that okay, right? Okay. Yes. So he had a combination of cavities and also gum disease, which destroys the foundation that holds the teeth in. So at this point, it was time to get rid of the disease in his mouth, make him healthier, and at the same time, give him a smile that actually fits his personality. So this, this case was someone who, uh, obviously, the wear and tear and the disease, it made more sense to just get him a brand new, and this is a fixed set of teeth. This correct, is something that's correct, secured yeah. by the implants you talk about. Correct, correct. And how many implants does it need to secure something like that? Is there varies, one I, for every tooth? No, or? no, I think on varies. I think on his, I think it was five, if I recall. Uh, so it's five implants total holding. It might have been six, I'm not sure. But uh, so yeah, it's, it's screwed in. Uh, he doesn't take it out. He brushes it normally. He comes in, you know, about once a year. We we we, we clean it and clean okay. it for him. Make sure everything's looking all right. Uh, so there's a little maintenance, but but overall, it's uh, you know now now Jim's got got the smile that matches the rest. And of you him. know what? You can tell in the first photo that he was already a happy guy. Yeah, yeah. But if you can look in the second photo, the smile is about twice as big. Did you see a big change in personality? I mean, with something now he's got a te- now he's got the he's, teeth to match his he, personality. He's the guy that comes in. He you know he hugs the girls that work up front. He's telling jokes. He he's uh, it, it's always good to see him, and it's good to see him happy too. Yeah. yeah. Very good. If you're just joining us, I'm here with Dr. Jared Hulse from Austin Artistic Dental, showing some amazing things that they can do with dental implants. Now you sent us this patient photo as well. This one, wow. I mean, I'm talking before and after. This is night and day. Can you just share with me, and I think I already know just by looking at it, but what was this patient's concern? Sure, yes, Carlos here. So, I mean, as you can see, his front teeth, he has uh, plaque everywhere. He obviously has several teeth that are broken down, one tooth that's almost completely broken down. Uh, the thing I really like about this case comes back to what we were talking about before is, well, this, you know, as we also talked about before, sometimes people come in, they think it's hopeless. They think they gotta pull them all out, they gotta either do it, all they know is about is dentures, but we talked about other options. But it's not always that big. I mean, sometimes it's just a couple of teeth here, a couple of teeth there can make a dramatic change. Does that, does that happen a lot? Do you get patients that come in a lot, maybe they've been to another office or another practice in town, and, and they say, you know, I, they told me my only option was to rip out all of my teeth and throw me in a denture. And, and I don't yeah. want to do that because I, I feel like All there's a better the way. Does that happen a lot? All the time. Does it really? Yeah, people, I'm not sure why that happens. I guess some, if you have a hammer, all everything's a nail. Is that what the sure, expression yeah. is? Right. So, so it's, we have seen it all the time. It, yes, sometimes that's their only option, but a lot of the time also, it's not nearly that option. We can put in, uh, just replace a few teeth. We can rebuild other teeth. Uh, sometimes it's a lot uh, easier and we can hold on to those teeth for many, many years. It just, so there's a lot of different ways. So what did we actually do here? So this, this is a ama- amazing transformation. What actually happened here? The reason I like this case I was saying is one, because we didn't have to do that much and it's natural looking. Okay, uh, you know, Very yeah, he natural. doesn't. He still doesn't have a perfect smile. Okay, I'm not. We didn't give this man the perfect smile, but we gave him a natural smile. We replaced uh, some of the broken teeth with crowns and veneers. We cleaned him up. We got his gums healthy, and now he's got. Now he can smile again. You can't. He couldn't smile like this. Uh, you know, his kids and his wife were bugging him to go to the dentist, and you know, he finally gave in. And he was. He was actually a great guy once he got there and settled in. So. Uh, uh, I'm happy with how natural it looks here. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I want to take you through another patient situation here. Now this, again, a huge cosmetic difference, but walk me through this patient. What was their concern when they sat down with you? Well, you can see see her concern. I mean, this is Sarah, okay? She actually works at uh, Walmart near uh, near my, uh, right in the shopping center of my office there. She's one, she's the extreme case. She's the case that I've seen time and time again. It's one I was talking about before. It's been literally 20, 30 years since she's been to the dentist. She's and why was that? Because of why? She didn't have reasons. access or the no, fear you were talking about? All or? the stuff we talked about before, the fear of pain, fear of not being able to afford it. Uh, you know, this is just something she's been dealing with. They put it to the back of their mind. Mm. Um, and then sometimes, you know, sometimes it's pain that makes them come in. Sometimes it's uh, something someone said. Often, I've had people that had uh, a lot of, I get the grandchildren a lot. A lot of people, they say, oh, my grandchildren now say, what, what's going on in your mouth there? And, and they're embarrassed. So they want, they want to change that. Uh, so she came in. Uh, she's someone that's had, 
you know, the teeth that you can barely see there, that was almost all of her teeth. There were a few other broken ones in the back. And much like the other case, this is now a uh, full set of teeth uh, supported by implants. Um, and she's chewing now. She's happy now. I mean, she looked she looked 30 years younger. I mean, she, you, can, you can tell just in the photo. She yeah. looked, this looks 20 years younger right yeah, there. It, it was actually more dramatic than that. I mean, it was partially, it's partially because the teeth, but it's also partially because she uh, started eating better, okay? You know, she started smiling more, obviously. Uh, so she was a health, healthier, happier person. She, she was one of them, actually, and this happens, of all the procedures we do, uh, the one where, you know, people are the... They feel the most far gone, and then we give them back to you. It's the one number one procedure where people cry from happiness. Is that right? <laughs> like when they do that, right there in the chair, right, right there. And it, it'll, even now thinking about it, it always makes us wanna. It always feels like, oh, don't do that, because I'm gonna cry too. Uh. <laughs> even thinking about now, you kind of well up, and then all the staff like has to excuse themselves. But they don't want to start crying. And, sure. Uh, so while that's, you know, that's, uh, it's always a good day when that happens. So, so. so someone like this, uh, Sarah right here, did she come in, was her initial thing, was it the cosmetic side? Was it the pain? What was the it, first problem? It was, it was, it was everything, but I think it was the pain that made her uh, come in finally. She after finally was it. fed up. Yeah, and, couldn't and, chew, couldn't hurt. But but the yeah. side benefit besides that was this beautiful cosmetic smile. Yeah, exactly. So that's in there, you know, that's, she needed it all, you know, but sometimes, sometimes it's the cosmetic that makes them come in, sometimes it's the health issue, uh, some, the pain, uh, and then, uh, you know, but unfortunately, the, uh, fortunately, this, this solves both their problems. That's all the time we have for today. I want to appreciate my guest, Dr. Jared Holst. You've shared so much great information. For, for the people who are sitting at home and watching the show, and something we've said is really stricken a chord there. They're in pain, they can't eat, they can't chew. They're ready for a new smile. How do they get a hold of you? Uh, the best way is probably just to you know, go on our website, you know, austinartisticdental.com. We have uh, a lot of those services we talked about. There's more information there. You can you know, email the office. You have a specific question for me. You can email me if you want to call me on the phone. I don't care. I'll, I'll talk to you. Can they come sit down and talk about options? Of course, yeah. I mean, we have free consultation for all these options all the time for implants, for six-month braces. Um, it really only takes me a few minutes to look in there and give you, you know, a really good idea what, uh, what it's going to take to get you healthy again. So come on down, uh, you know, South Austin. I'd love to meet you. Amazing stuff. I'd like to thank my guest, Dr. Jared Holes. Thank you for coming on today. If you're sitting at home and you're in pain or you can't chew or you can't eat or you're just ready to get your smile back, I want to personally invite you to reach out to Dr. Holes and his team at Austin Artistic Dental. Thank you again for coming on. Thanks for having me, Colin. Appreciate it.